For those of you guys who've been waiting for us to get some F chassis, we got an F10 and an F30. Honestly, very excited for this, guys. They're just such last minute because we had some cars junked earlier and uh, they close in about 30 minutes. So that's why I'm looking a little bit of a rush. Just like that, <laughs> we are ready to go. Let's go, guys. So now two crazy things is we were actually supposed to only get one of these cars. We ended up getting both of them. So that's why we have two checks right over here. And the second crazy thing is we literally just left our shop and I'm about to take the next exit, which is literally where IA Auctions is, which is super sick. I'm so happy that one of the auction locations are literally right around the corner. And we got actually our 335 IS from here. And I was very pleased with the transaction. Let's hope to God these next two cars are gonna be rock solid. guys just got here i'm gonna go ahead and head inside and just go pay for these two cars i don't know which one we're gonna get first but you guys are about to find out in a bit all right guys so we just got out of there i have all the papers that we need um it looks like we're getting both cars today i really don't know the one that doesn't drive we're gonna put it on uh they're just gonna forklift it on here and the one that does drive i'm actually just gonna park it somewhere out here real quick um just so we can actually get both of them today we'll see how that plan goes hopefully i don't regret it but uh I guess we'll find out. So they're gonna drop off the F10 right now. Uh, and we're just gonna go ahead and grab the keys for it and then uh, lock it and we'll come back for it. But primarily, let's go ahead and get this thing back and hopefully we can unload it. this one back <laughs> honestly we might just have to do that i don't really know the game plan for this but uh it shut off didn't it Oof. <laughs> i guess you can't drive it are you kidding could be a low battery okay so we need to get home and get our jumper but in the meantime take our key with us so the f30 is loaded up right now but unfortunately the f10 uh i don't know if the engine's something wrong with it or it's the it, it needs some juice so regardless uh, we need to figure out what's going on with that and hopefully we can get it back there tonight because they're just gonna leave it out and this isn't the area you want to leave it out at so that being said we need to get back to the shop get this thing off the trailer so we can get our other f10 as well like i'm actually low-key kind of stressed out but let's hope to god we can get this stuff sorted and as stressed as i was things unfortunately took an even bigger turn I need to park. This is my shop, yeah. How long? Huh? How long? Maybe one hour. Maybe one hour. I, I don't have time for an hour. I gotta like I gotta get this car because I have to get another car from auction. Okay, okay, no problem. No problem. I One hour. No. I don't yeah, if you can move the car over there, it's fine. These people literally just parked in front of my shop and started working. Can you just move it? Like, I gotta go. Yeah, let's go. Like, are they trying to negotiate on my spot? Get the, get the, get the car, get the car on here because it's just crazy. And it's not just one, there's two and blocking the entrance to our shop. Oh. I just don't understand why they think they can just work behind the shop. And I like the, how they're, they're trying to hide, like right like, in this corner. They're, like our neighbors, there's spots here. Why didn't they take any of our neighbors? Because this area, they can hide. You know what I mean? Like it's a little corner. Yeah. So it's like really frustrating. Did you get any notifications on your camera? I actually probably did, but I was just too busy getting these cars. That's actually so crazy. Kind of want to call like the, the lease owner because like, and he's trying to negotiate. He's like, give me an hour. I'll just work here. Don't hit him, please. Go out the back. He's, he's coming back this way. This is like, this is actually, I remember this guy. Yeah, they, they come around here. And that dude is like back there. What is he doing? <laughs> this is unbelievable. This, it's honestly unreal. Does this guy know them? Do you, hey, excuse me. Do you know them? Do you know them? Why were they parking and working in front of my shop? Why were they parking there? You know them though? No, okay. Just let, leave him. Just talk to Lewis. Just keep filming this. I keep I'm filming. Fil film them talking.
I'm not gonna lie, I completely killed my mood. Completely killed my mood. Let them, let them go away. It looks like the neighbor gave him the off to start working here because they thought we left for the day. Yeah, they thought we left for the day, so they were here working in a corner, like. It's okay, babe. Shit happens. We're not gonna let it get to us. Let's, let's just do what we have to do. I'm just so frustrated, guys. Low key, kind of, my mood is completely pissed off. I'm paying, you know, God knows how much. I mean, you guys. I'm not sure if I ex explained how much I'm paying for this place, but regardless, when you guys are renting a space and someone just uses your space, especially the friends with your neighbors that I didn't even know about, it's just a complete mood killer. But that's not the topic of today's video. So I'm gonna stay on a positive note. Let's just hopefully get our other car and uh, everything be gravy in the Navy. Let's just get this thing in here, unload it, and we'll figure that out one step at a time. And just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, unfortunately, it did. All right, guys, so uh, a little update, another little update for, you know, this video It's one of those videos that again, I'm bringing to you guys to show you guys that not every day is great, okay? Whatever the heck that's going on over there right now, completely disregard that, that's my neighbors that pissed me off earlier. Um, trying to put the right, so it's supposed to be a 17 mil, and it looks like it's like either T53, not a T50 or 55, T53. Really? Right. So obviously, um, we'll figure that out later. I mean, the good thing about it, I think it has M3, Guys, check that out. M3 brakes on here. So that's pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie. So that's pretty awesome to have. Pretty happy to see that. Um, but right now, from the looks of it, I don't think we're getting this off today. So I'm going to try to figure out a way to get the trailer in here. And then let's just go get our other car somehow. How are we doing? All right, guys. So we're here. Finally, the F10. Thankfully, no one stole anything off of it. That would have been the worst video I've ever uploaded on YouTube, if so. Um, they just said, be careful, it's on your own risk. Um, things happen out here, so I was just kind of stressed out on top of what happened earlier. Thankfully, we do have a moving permit, so I'm gonna try to drive this. It's literally less than a mile, um, so hopefully, you know, nothing happens. If we can just drive it straight to our shop, everything's gonna be great with the Navy. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and fill out this rest of this paperwork, start her up, and then just drive straight back, because I doubt that thing's holding cool. <laughs> I almost lost my phone. You know what? I'll leave you can't that. part it out right here, no? I'm just gonna leave that right there. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and just give her a quick little jump. Hope to God she'll drive home. Yeah, coolant system. Our coolant system seems fine. So we might actually not not overheat. Actually, this thing even might not even be a terrible repair. Fender's good. Bumper. I don't know, guys. Let me know down below. Should we fix this thing? I'm telling you, no. She's told me. <laughs> guys, I'm actually just looking at this now. So, yeah, maybe a fender, a bumper, a headlight, some front end radio support, a hood. And this thing, I mean, yeah, it's got a slight little buckle right over here. Can you be any louder, my G? Um, <laughs> slight little bugger, uh, buckle. <laughs> but, anyways, I think this might be an easy repair. Let me know if we should repair it down below, especially if it drives back to my place. But, uh, anyways, anyways, let's just go ahead, jump it, start it drive it back again. I, I'm just kind of like so much going on in my mind right now. And I, it'd be ideal if it just drives back right now. It does not look good in there. Now it looks... Questionable. Yes. That's the word. It's not as strong as I would like, but... I guess we'll find out. All right, guys, so I let my wife go ahead and start it up for us, and it started first try for her, so I don't care. That, that's a win in my book. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy home. What I mean home, I mean to the shop. Hopefully, it'll just make it there. Guys, I don't know why I have to stress myself out so much. You guys can see pretty much with my haircut and everything. I've just been working nonstop, stupid stressed out. Obviously, when starting a new business, it is honestly probably one of the most stressful things in the world, uh, but it's definitely worth it. It's definitely gonna be worth it. Might as well do it uh, now while I can. But anywho, in a positive note, guys, check out this car. It is honestly running and driving like a dream. No check engine light, no transmission light. This thing is running super smooth. And for, um, for the price we got it for, I, I kind of want to rebuild it. Like it's not really the most desirable spec, but for the price, might be worth rebuilding. I'll let you guys know. Also, let me know down below. Um, it just also might be a really good parts car. So 
I don't know, I don't know. So guys, this is the next day and I'm in a lot better mood. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. So definitely the sleep definitely helped out. But we're here with the F30 and uh, basically, I'm starting to realize a couple things about this car that I'm really, really, really happy about. This bad boy does have the shadow line trim on both sides in good condition. Um, we have only two good doors, unfortunately, but something I just noticed, actually, not just noticed, I noticed it yesterday, I don't know if I mentioned it. Check out these brakes right back here. This bad boy has M3 calipers front and rear, which is super sick. So I don't know if you consider that a big brake kit, mainly because the rotors looks like it's the stock rotors, but they got the F80 calipers on there, which is super sick. So hopefully we can get those off there. If you guys look right in here, this got a special lug nut in there. Not really too sure what that is, but we're gonna go in and hopefully figure that out and get these wheels off. Thankfully, if you guys come around to the front end as well, we have one good fender, we have the good hood. This is where the money's at, honestly, the hood, because most cars are damaged in the front. We have this beautiful headlight as well, in good condition. Um, the other side, not so much. You guys saw it was completely destroyed. It looks like from over here, it has a heads up display. Um, let's just go check out what else we got in the interior of this car. So it is a sport line package which means it has like the red stitching throughout the entire interior. My wife actually had one of these specs ones, a uh, Sportline edition, it was pretty sick. So if you guys come around over here, again, Sportline package right over here, we got the red stripes, dual speakers, which means I think this bad boy has Harman Kardon. So we got a Harman Kardon sound system. We got the beautiful black headliner. I love the black headliner in F8, F30s, honestly, any car. Black headliners, I don't know if those guys who've been sticking around over the years, is just a game changer when it comes to your BMW. I feel like all of them should come like that. Um, we do have a key. Let's go ahead and pop the trunk. We got power, we got power. Coming back here as well, we do have some things. So it looks like this is the tire that literally got ripped off. Oh, buddy. So this is a Michelin tire, guys. And uh, it really sucks, look at the tread. Almost brand new tire, but unfortunately, things happen in life. So that is no longer a good thing. We got some floor mats. So I probably should put some gloves on, but anyways, um, I'm, I'm just looking for the wheel lock at this point, so. Hey Mocha, you don't like it here? Okay, take you inside. So right now guys, I am heading out to get some food with my beautiful wife. Uh, oh my god, look at my neck. <laughs> <laughs> you. I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. <laughs> My allergy reaction. I didn't do that. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, abusive relation. Okay. No <laughs> uh, but anywho, guys, I'm heading down to get some food right now. I'll show you guys the car unloaded. We do need to move it around and whatnot, so we'll figure that out in a little bit. But for now, guys, I'm starving. It literally took us two hours to get the thing off the trailer, so got to get some food. Cool. Thank you. Bye, pleasure. Have a good one. Too. airbags did deploy unfortunately so I'm gonna go ahead try to figure out a way to get power to this bad boy and then let's go ahead and get this thing a crank together this is a 2021 battery guys maybe this thing is just a little bit um unjuiced so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the charger and then put in a new battery real quick but uh I think this battery could be good in like, 2021 come on it's only been like two years old So I went ahead and put another battery in here and basically with the battery terminal, I went ahead and pretty much just like rigged it um, with a flathead, shoved the flathead in there and kind of pulled. Basically when the airbag cable deploys, two things pretty much disconnect. So I shoved the flathead on this piece and brought it back to the, where it's supposed to be and just left the flathead in there so that piece doesn't disconnect, uh, which in other words, is gonna be able to have a full connection so we can actually start the car with a good battery as well. We should have enough power. So let's go ahead and give this thing its first startup. Hopefully this N20 is graving the navy. 
That is satisfying. <laughs> Oh my god, this door is messed up. Alrighty, transmission is in park. Um, that's because we actually have to engage that manually. We'll go ahead and disengage that later, but for now, let me get an engine. Okay. Yep. Now, if you're asking me, a professional, I'm gonna tell you that sounds modified. Actually, it barely has any tick, too. Everything's grave in the Navy. Heads up display works. Yeah, heads up display works as well. That's pretty sick. Yeah, and then we got that going. Uh, sound system is quite a the sound system. I understand, but well, part of it's the exclusivity. It. They haven't made a game in 11 years. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> <laughs> And guys, after pretty much dealing with all that stuff, again, today is kind of a video all over the place. Um, we're actually going out right now for the first time in the Audi R8. I know I actually filmed like a video on this a couple, like a couple of weeks ago, I think on the YouTube channel, um, but I really don't drive it. Like since I watched it, I haven't even driven it and it is absolutely filthy. So yes, I want to take it out, go out for a good time, enjoy the R8 because every single day that I'm working, I'm just not getting to enjoy the cars. And that's actually one of the reasons why I got into this job and this kind of like path in life is so I can enjoy cars, but I'm just partying him out and i'm just working 24 7 so we're gonna go ahead and take out the audi all right enjoy get some good food and uh where are we going again cheesecake factory, cheesecake factory. So i hope it's gonna be good problems. i would never thought that you could be causing these problems it smells so bad with After enjoying the Audi R8, it is time to officially get back to the shop and start packaging up a new order of ours. Now that the engine is packed up, ready to go, let's go attend another issue of our day. It's just a uh, day in the life, guys, day in the life. up engines to loading up my daily onto my trailer um now it's time to load up a new addition to the shop which is my boy's first ever m3 you guys check this thing out all right guys made a lot of progress but my boy is actually pulling up in his first ever m3 he literally drove this all the way from la he's from denver right now and he found a deal in la a totaled m3 and he actually flew out here um had the guy pick him up in the m3 from the airport that's again totaled and uh drove it from la to here all in the same day so <laughs> if you guys think that i'm crazy sometimes you guys should meet some of my friends guys he's pulling up right now that thing looks good <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> Bro, it looks good. <laughs> oh my God. Dang, you just park right here, honestly. We're in the end cap. He really did drive all this. He drove this all the way from LA. <laughs> 
if you guys think why if you guys are wondering why i'm asking questions the, the reason why i'm like sick oh my god bro <laughs> it's not that bad <laughs> you're not getting pulled we over just, we just need a bumper and a trunk and some uh what's up bro long time no see <laughs> there we go now it's proper now it's legit <laughs> <laughs> save a bmw <laughs>